Hey everyone, this is Phil again, and in this video, I'm going to show you a brand new cube from a brand new manufacturer. This is always a very exciting unboxing experience because not only are we trying a new cube, but we're trying it from a brand new company. So this company is called Peak Cube, and this is their first cube, the Peak S3R. This box looks absolutely fantastic, and we're going to take a look at this cube, why it's so interesting, and uh, we'll play around with all the features. Let's get started. Do, 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 do. Whoa, whoa. do. You missed it! <laughs> so, why don't we open this box? So you, so you can see there's a really cool orange motif here. Wow, look at this orange box. It's so orange. So we have some accessories. We have a mini screwdriver, a card. This pamphlet's just a cube tutorial. This uh, nice cloth, some plastic, more plastic with springs bag, instruction manual, cube. So this cube is in a cube box. It looks like Gan, it's like a puzzle in itself, but there's an arrow here. So we're gonna open it. First turns on this cube. Let's give it a shot. So the turn is actually extremely clean. I like the feel of this. Uh, I would say this cube is on the lighter side. It feels around 70 grams, maybe 55 and a half, 56 millimeters. Let's try corner cutting. Good. Pretty good, yeah. All right, so the turning on this cube uh, is extremely decent out of the box. I actually really like turning this cube. It feels extremely springy and very light, and the internals are so interesting. So the one interesting thing about this cube is apparently you can change the plates on the sides of the pieces to give it a different texture or a different material. The uh, plates here are this uh, transparent plastic and these plates are opaque, they're black. And so I, I presume these are different materials, but the same texture. And maybe the difference in materials helps or at least makes the turning experience different. So this is a level of detail that we haven't seen before in a speed cube and I'm really curious to to give it a shot. Okay, so let's open up this pamphlet, learn how to use this cube and we'll explore the features. So it looks like there are two features that we need to look at. So it looks like you can tension the cube using these three parts and feature number two is you can change the plastic plates on the sides of the pieces to uh, change the material and the texture. So let's do feature one first, which is uh, taking a look at these uh, contraptions under the center. So the center cap comes off pretty easily. So it says, open the transparent buckle of the wheel base using a screwdriver by hand. So I have a screwdriver here. That's the one that they uh, supply you with. So it looks like you open it like this. All right, cool. So now choose the one you prefer. Okay, so I don't know what I prefer because I just got this cube, but for the sake of demonstration, let's pick this one because uh, this one look, look, looks like a pretty chill guy. All right, so let's take this off. Whoa, oh my God, look, it has four springs. Are you seeing this? That's crazy. So it's also interesting to note that this little piece here that they call the transparent buckle, that comes off. This looks like it's really easy to lose. Maybe it could have been designed in such a way that it wasn't easy to lose, but don't lose these. So we'll put this on, put it here, and then get the, get the thing in here, right? There we go. Okay, so you heard that snap. And now we adjusted to this white component here. And apparently this one is the stronger one. And if you did that to all six sides, you would probably feel a difference. So that's pretty cool. And uh, of course, when you open this thing up here and take it off, you can change these springs with the springs provided in the packaging. So you can go from silver to gold. The gold springs are the stronger ones and the silver ones are the factory ones. They're a bit weaker. Uh, I think these have only one setting. So if you wanted to change it, the cube would essentially force you to swap a piece. So that's uh, kind of the idea here. So that's the feature for changing the elasticity and the spring. Honestly, I'm still a little confused why this is better than conventional. Like why couldn't you just have a regular screw with a regular spring and not have to quadruple springs and change this little plastic piece that 
is easy to lose. I hope that at some point this manufacturer can explain why this is better. It's a little more complicated than the rest of the uh, elasticity adjustment features out there. So this is definitely harder to use and uh, requires more attention. So hopefully it's better in some way. We'll, we'll find out later. All right, let's go on to this. So this is a cool feature where you can change the surface of the piece and that will presumably change the feel of the cube. And see, this is what I want. This is what I'm looking for. So as you can see here, it says the different materials have different stability, smoothness, anti-sticking and anti-abrasion. This looks like some data that tells you that there are quantifiable differences between these four surfaces. I think we only have the first two. These are available for sale later. This is what I want for the spring system. You know, I want a graph that tells you how this works and why it's better than the traditional. So this is good, good job. So let's uh, let's try it, shall we? So the instructions say to use this little flathead screwdriver to pry open the piece. So I'm gonna actually do that. Hope I don't break it. Oh, there, there it comes. And we can do that with everything here. All right, so I successfully took out all the plastic panels from the edge piece, it looks like this. If you guys are old like me and you remember the Alpha Chun 2, it feels like that experience where you kind of have like a kit like uh, starting point and you just build it up yourself. Fascinating stuff. Except the Alpha Chun 2, I, I believe had metal plates instead of plastic. So that didn't make very much sense. All right, let's do the corners. Let's take them off. Yeah, doing this is actually kind of not gonna lie, it's a crazy experience. I never thought I would be prying open the sides of my Rubik's Cube pieces. Like, dang, this is some futuristic stuff. This is what the corner looks like, fascinating. And now we're gonna use these pieces. So I think these are corner, corner pieces. So let's not confuse them. So we need, what, three corner pieces? It's like building a model. It's so interesting. All right, there, there it's done. Let's compare that to a corner piece that is stock. Can I feel a difference? Yeah, this one feels a little bit, a uh, little bit smoother. Like it, it feels like there's less coefficient of friction. This one feels a little, a little bit sandier. It's very interesting. Let's uh, do the same thing on the edges. <laughs> I feel like a child. I'm like dumping my box of Legos on the floor and like building something. Here we are. So this is a swapped edge piece with the uh, included alternate plates. And this is a stock one. Okay, let's get a nine right here. So I'll turn or die. So, uh, my opinion on this cube, this was a really interesting experience. This cube is really, really light. I think it's in the upper 60s, like 68 grams. And I felt that when I was trying to turn aggressively, I was able to push the layers around uh, pretty easily, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. So good, obviously you can turn fast without having to expend much effort, bad. Sometimes I feel like I'm overturning, which, uh, you know, maybe one way to address that is to get a rougher texture or something that is less smooth and uh, slightly more abrasive, then maybe that'll help me overturn less. I don't know, I'm trying to explain the cube using its own features, so maybe that's an answer. I used the, uh, the stock transparent plates for uh, this one because quite frankly, I didn't have that much time to swap the cube to the other set. On that topic, it's actually pretty time consuming to do that. I estimate like if I really applied myself, it would take like 15 minutes at least to to change all the plates. And uh, that's a long time to adjust the cube. But of course, you're also effectuating a really big change to the cube, which is the texture. So maybe that time makes sense. It's just people typically don't spend 15 minutes tinkering with their cube um, if they know what they're doing with like the setup and the adjustment features. So definitely a very interesting set of features on this cube. I'm not sure how convinced I am that this spring system is better than conventional. I would love the manufacturer to explain that more so that people don't have to guess. I can't tell when I'm cubing that this cube has a four spring structure anyway, so it would be really nice to hear from the manufacturer. I just know that a lot of small pieces are on this cube and they can get lost, but you know, it's really interesting 
and I think for $44.99, the price is definitely hefty, but again, it's for a feature that no one's ever really been able to have their hands on yet. So, you know, maybe the price is fair. You decide. My results on this cube were pretty good. It has a pretty good out of the box feel to it. It doesn't perform exceptionally in the sense that I don't think this is competing with the GAN 11 or the Worm 2021 in terms of pure speed cubing performance, but it is still pretty good. I get some good times on it. I don't feel too stressed out cubing because it is very light and my overall experience with this product is a positive one because it's just so fun to think about the possibilities for adjustment. So the pamphlet included with this cube has information about additional plates that you can purchase separately. We don't have those right now, but maybe they'll release more in the future. Maybe that's the way of updating the cube, which is to release different packs of plates to uh, change the feel of the cube. Hopefully it has a really big impact and I know we're gonna have a lot of fun doing like blind tests and all sorts of uh, other things to just see how effective this feature is. So yeah, obviously a lot of features on this cube are brand new, never been seen before. So let us know your first impressions of this cube in the comments. Your feedback is always welcome and hope you have a fantastic rest of the day.